conference rivals in this one, Clark. Does that matter as much as people think, or is it just another game? I, th I still think it matters to the players. I mean, they're a little less emotional now, rivalries. They're not as heated, a little more practical. I think it's mostly about making the playoffs and, and where you're seated. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green is out there with Avery Bradley, and it's McGee in at the five. And for Sacramento, Heald and Barnes are the two and the three. Bielita is out there with Dwayne Dedman, and it's Fox in at the point guard position. Tip off goes to the Lakers. Barnes against James. Inside, McGee. He can't get that one. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They found their rhythm and kept piling it on. And a huge boost of confidence on the road for sure. The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Green against Heald. Outside Green. And James gets it to go on the assist by Green. Hard to play better defense than that, guys. I mean, but right there, James simply overpowered it. Barnes finds Deadman. And Fox has it in the corner. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. And guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and you know, to come up short at the line is frustrating because that's controllable and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. It's the best way to do it, as long as you don't get teed up for it. Tries from the block, and that's good for two. And so here's Sacramento. It's stolen by Green. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And it's Green with the jam. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Back to Fox. Deadman inside. Guarded by McGee. Lock at six. Three-pointer heel. It's good from long range. And that is what Heal does. This guy is a gunner. He loves pulling the trigger from deep. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. The offensive rebound. And Davis gets it to go. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. That one drops for him. Heald's got five now. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Knocks it loose and stolen by Barnes. From 10 feet out, and the Kings check on two more. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. McGee finds James. That's tipped outside Brandon. 
Just five to shoot. Shoots. McGee inside. Edmonds there. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. For Sacramento, they've gone four of five from the field so far. And the foul on Avery Bradley. That is his first foul of the game. Los Angeles on D. Trailing by two. Pass to Barnes. Back to Fox. Healed outside. Shot clock at six. Sinks the triple. Healed's got a couple of threes now in the first with the King. Oh, great ball movement there. James, the pass to Davis. Back to LeBron. Got a piece of it. The elites are with it. He's picked up by James. Here's Healed. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Players are sure racking up a lot of miles, Clark. A lot of games, a lot of flights, a lot of late nights, early mornings. But in some ways, it must be easier these days than it was, say, 20 years ago when you were playing. It's easier now than it was when I played. I mean, we had commercial flights and 6 a.m. flights. These guys now actually have charter services. And heck, I often think that the guys before me had it much worse yes. Yes. than I did. So it's Starting. all relative. But clearly, it's hard. It's demanding. But they also have the very best of care in getting to and from the cities across the league. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. Look at the Lakers. They're looking extremely sharp right now. Poised in the top spot and playing very well. And checking out Sacramento. Just need to take it a game at a time. And when you look at Sacramento, they've had such a disappointing season. Even when they've gotten a little bit of momentum, they haven't been able to keep it going. And when you talk about inconsistency, I think a lot of it has to go to the players because ultimately they're the ones that dictate how they perform. Lakers trail by eight to the middle. McGee dishes to Davis. Inside, Green. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. That's good from Barnes on the assist by Fox. Fox has got four assists in the game. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Pass to Davis. Over Bielitsa. And it's Davis missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Barnes. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. LeBron passes to Green. Kicks it to Davis. Six on the shot clock. In the corner, it's James. Here's McGee. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's where McGee butters his bread. I mean, battling for tough rebounds in the trenches, that's his area. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Sacramento. 
Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. The free throw off from McGee. Well, you look at McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys, outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. No question about it. He's very comfortable in the air. Dunks like that, no problem for him. A shot by LeBron, no good. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well, Greg. Three-pointer heel. That shot off the mark. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And they really squeaked out a close one in that last matchup. Came down to just a few turnovers that gave them the margin of victory. Well, composure, execution, efficiency in a tight ball game is typically what's going to determine the winner. Back to Barnes. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And a chance here now to take a look at the teams that are tops in the league and scoring points off turnovers. In third, the Lakers. You know, when you make a mistake against this team, they make you pay. I mean, because they convert those turnovers into fast break points, and that really can be demoralizing. Los Angeles calls timeout. Name some traits that make for a great team leader. You've been in that role. What, what did you like and embrace, and what have you seen from others? Well, I think it starts with humility, a real sense of who you are and what your role is on the team as a leader, and then a really good example set. I think those qualities are essential. Humility speaks to selflessness, but also being one that holds yourself accountable, too. Harry Giles is checked in for Sacramento. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Bielitsa. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Danny Green. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Bradley. Stolen by Joseph, and even three-on-three -three break. Shot by Heald, nobody around. Nailed from three-point land. Heald's got 14 points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. On defense, Sacramento. 11-point game. Here's Davis. Barnes is really showing some good work on defense. Outstanding at staying in front of his guy and challenging the shots, making it hard for him. Nothing soft about the putback there. And, and why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Back to Joseph. Caldwell Pope against Heald, and it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his first foul. Joseph looking around. Shot clock at five. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Yeah. 
and Zoe hits the technical free throw. Joseph is a guy who's a proven champion and does whatever's asked of him, and that makes him a solid leader on this team. Kent Bazemore is checked in for the Kings. Joseph against Ronda. Bazemore for three. He doesn't hit that one. And the Lakers take it the other way. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Joseph dishes to Barnes. And it's off from three-point range. Outside Rondo. Passes it to Howard. Over Giles. And there's Howard. That's good on the assist by Rondo. Howard's got his second bucket of the night. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Baysmore, no one around him. Again, the miss by the King. Lakers trail by six. Caldwell Pope for three. Outside Bogdanovich. There's the pass to Joseph. Knocked away. Rondo with the steal. Caldwell Pope outside. This one for three. Another miss by Caldwell Pope. Sacramento leading by six. Poked away. Rondo with the ball. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Here's Kuzma. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Just five on the clock. Jacks up a three. Another miss by Caldwell Pope. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Mark, you were so good at such an early age in your basketball career. At, at what point did you personally realize just how far the game could take you? You know, it really resonated with me, Kevin. I think um, at a summer basketball camp at Miami of Ohio when some of the better campers, high school campers, were asked to play with the college guys at night. And then during pickup games in my hometown of Cleveland with some of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Jim Jones and the late Terry Furlow and Mike Mitchell and being able to compete somewhat with those guys at 15 and 16 years of age and having them encourage me to keep going and that I'd have a chance to do what they were doing at the time, which was play pro ball. And the Kings making a change here. Farrell's checked in. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Bazemore. Caldwell Pope against Barnes. Six to shoot. Caldwell Pope kicks to Rondo. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Takes it off the glass. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Rondo with it. Hit it now by Barnes. Caldwell Pope outside. And the foul on Kent Baseball. That's his first foul. Fifty nine seconds left to play in the first yeah, just sloppy basketball in that first half. They just seem a little bit out of sync. Yeah a succession of turnovers guys. This game is hard enough to win and to play well without giving away possessions. Rondo scanning the floor. Pass to Kuzma. That's a miss his second after two shots. And here's Farrell. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. They have a nine-point lead to the inside. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Barnes. Poke loose. Here's Rondo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Ready by Bogdanovich. For the three. What a play! Simply drains it in at the buzzer. Ringing the bell 
That's the way to close the quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer, that'll do it. Buddy Heald has been leading the charge for the Sacramento Kings. We witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen the Kings really take control here. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. Here's Barnes. We've got Bogdanovich. Farrell is out there with Kent Bazemore. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's Giles in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Bobbed up there for Howard. Bazemore with it. Eight points his last outing. And there's the call on Howard. That's his first foul. Sacramento with the ball. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Pass to Barnes. Now, it's up to Kuzma to play with the kind of heart and hustle on defense that's required. And he's versatile at that end of the floor. Caruso, the pass to Howard. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. This is his first free throw of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. And guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's Shooting still two. not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. And that one falls for Howard. You know what? Still a consistent double-double threat. Every game is Howard wanting to prove how valuable he is. De'Aaron Fox has checked in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. So one for two that time at the strikes. Mark, it seems that guards are rebounding now more than ever. Uh, what do you make of that trend? You know what, Kevin? I think it's a function of how the game is played. More and more teams play small ball where they really don't have a big guy out there or a traditional center out there. You may have guards and wings, and oftentimes your tallest guy might be 6'8". So it makes it important oh, take a break. for take guards a break. and Two everybody shots. to rebound the ball. So I think you see more guards getting more rebounds because of teams playing small ball as a function of the three-point shots importance in the game. One thing about Kyle Kuzma, Clark, he's not a ball stopper. When he touches the ball, he is shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> I would not disagree with you there, guys. He is fearless looking for a shot. He hunts his shot aggressively, and he's very efficient. He doesn't need a lot of dribbles, but one thing I like about him is that he doesn't hold on to that ball long. He's going to make a quick, decisive move or get it out of his hands. Yes, that goes in. This is exactly what you want Farrell to do. I mean, when there's somebody open, he's got to find him. Lakers trail by 12. Passes it to Kuzma. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Howard in the post. It's good. Howard's got seven points. And you know what? There's no question about it. Dwight Howard still has it going on inside. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Harry Giles. And it's Bielitsa in for Barnes. And the Lakers also making a switch. James is checked in. Here's Fox to the paint. Shots good by Dedman. Dedman's got the lead up to 12 now for the Kings. Boy, excellent recognition from Fox there, Kevin. Outstanding at recognizing when his guys are open. 
LeBron, that's a two-pointer. That one a little long. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Farrell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Boy, impressive quickness there for Farrell. And he's a smart player, too. Keeping pace with him, a challenge. For Sacramento, they have made four free throws from the line and missed two. And the first one at the line is good. You know, one of the things you have to do is know yourself, and Yogi Ferrell really knows his game. He's a shoot-first point guard who wants to keep getting better in that position. So he gets them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Cook kicks to James. Now the pass to Kuzma. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. You know, once Kuzma has the position he wants inside, he does his thing fearlessly. Fox passes to Farrell. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Heald's checked in for Kent Bazemore. at four knocked away and they force the shot clock violation great D looking now at the numbers for Bielitsa tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games he's putting up about 14 points a night seven rebounds and three assists and, and really just excellent numbers I like what we've been seeing from him across the board I do too I mean he's playing with much more focus now and a much higher level of intensity the feed now to Howard. Over Deadman. No good from Howard. Kings leading now by 12. Outside Fox. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. This is a look at the NBA's assist leaders over the last 10 games. Man, can these guys pass the ball? Fifth, De'Aaron Fox. And those games have seen him dropping more dimes than you might have thought possible. Knocks it loose. And the turnover again by Sacramento. All right, a chance to check out stats here for Dwight Howard. Over the last 10 games or so, he's really shown up. Third in shooting percentage, ninth in rebounding. And, of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in blocks per. And it's a strong accomplishment. Third best in field goal percentage. He just refuses to take bad shots. That's why his coaches love him. Here's James. It's rebounded by Farrell. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Outside, Fox takes the three. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Man, I tell you what, when Fox is making threes, he's hard to guard. That's a part of his game he's got to continue to work on. And Buddy Heald is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. And it's green in for Alex Caruso. Healed against LeBron. Pass to Kuzma. Down to five on the shot clock. The 19-foot shot. Sacramento grabs the miss. Deadman's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Fox, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Cook kicks to McGee. 
James outside. Hits it from three-point range. James has got five points so far. I love how quick he makes decisions. I mean, if a shot is there for him, LeBron is not going to think twice or hesitate. He'll let it fly. Healed against Kuzma. And it's blocked. Now here's James. He's coming off a 22-point game against Portland. Cook the pass to Kuzma. No good that time. Good D by Heal. And here's Heal. He'll bring it up for the King. Here's Fox. Rebounded by the Lakers. McGee's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Pass to Cook. He dishes it to McGee. Kuzma kicks to LeBron. Pass to Cook. Let's it go from deep. And another three for the Lakers. Here's Fox. He had 34 points in the win against the Clippers. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Joseph, he's checked in for the Kings. The Lakers also changing it up. Davis has checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Bradley's subbed in for Quinn Cook. Green against Joseph. Outside, Fox. Yeah, that one put him over the limit. And it's so early that if they're not careful, this could turn into a parade at the free throw line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throw good, Fox. And Fox has a lot of game. I mean, really good at distributing the ball, getting into the lane, and getting his guys involved. Fox hits them both. And didn't shoot it all that well from the line in the first quarter. Doing a much better job now in the second, up over 80%. It's going by heel. And now the Kings fast break. Now the dish to Joseph. Out left to the wing. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range, and Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. And the pass to Joseph. On the wing, heel. Fires the three. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Lakers trail by eight. And LeBron James Clark climbing the all-time scoring list. Last season passing Michael Jordan. This season, Kobe Bryant. Clark, any chance LeBron someday passes another Laker great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most career points in NBA history? I think it's simply a matter of his health because if he stays healthy, then it's not if, but when. By the time his contract runs out, guys, in 2022, He'll be right in that neighborhood of my all-time favorite player. And I think the greatest player to play, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. He leads the finds heel. Sacramento moving it around. Back to Deadman. Pass to Joseph. Over Green. Joseph, that's good. And the Kings lead by eight. Confidence right there. Joseph comfortable stroking the ball as soon as it hits his hands. James, the bounce pass. It's Davis with the drop. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Davis has got six points. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Fox 
Brooks against Bradley. Healed outside. No good on the three. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside. But he can't get it going here. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Fox. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third mate. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. James, the pass to Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Eight points for Davis. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Fox kicks to heel. Down low and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. The Kings making a switch here. Bogdanovich is checked in, and the Lakers also making a change. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Danny Green. Left side, Davis. Over Bielitsa. And it's Davis missing. Sacramento leading by six. On the wing, heel. Deadman trying to break free. James with some nice D. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Rondo with the nice dish. Sacramento's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Joseph, the pass to heel with the shot. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That is his first foul of the game. Sacramento making some changes. Harry Giles is checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Harrison Barnes comes in for Bialitz. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Buddy Heal. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Here's Davis. He can't get it to go. Good D by Barnes. To the paint. Giles kicks to Barnes. And here's Bogdanovich. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Two on the clock. Barnes trying to free himself up. Baysmore misses. And, and guys, not sure he's going to find a lot of success trying to pull off fancy spin moves like that. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers with some changes. Howard comes in for JaVale McGee. And it's Alex Caruso in for Bradley. Pass to Davis. He's more against Ronda. Shot clock at five. And shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by seven. They host the Spurs after this one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. It's Davis on the win. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Davis has got six in the quarter. And Rondo is a problem in that pick and roll. Picking the defense apart with his passing. And the official signaled the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. With four seconds on the clock, Howard can't hit. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Kings lead by five. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. 
All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a big-time first quarter from Buddy Heald. He had 14 points, two rebounds, and one steal. What would you think about Sacramento, Kenny? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. The second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box outs, battling for position, they own the offensive boards. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. One guy who's been getting it done is Buddy Heald. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So the Lakers five right now. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. JaVel McGee is out there with Anthony Davis and it's Bradley in at the one. Here's Heald. Outside, Fox. Just five to shoot. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. And that one's good, Barnes. Boy, you got to respect the long-range accuracy of Barnes now. When he gets a little daylight, he's dangerous from the perimeter. James, the pass to Davis. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. You could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Sacramento moving it around. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Yeah, I like the way Fox uses his wire reframe there. I mean, even when he's getting knocked around and jostled about, he maintains control and still gets the job done. Free throw off from Fox. Lakers trail by eight. It's Bradley on the wing. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. For Los Angeles, they have shot two of five from the free throw line. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. You know, you don't have to tell them what their free throw numbers are. I mean, they're well aware of it, believe me. And the technical free throw is good. Davis is really the total package. A mobile, sharp shooting big guy who can score from everywhere. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. The shot's good. That's seven points for LeBron. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And the foul on Avery Bradley. That's his third foul of the game. Fox looking it over. Three-pointer heel. It's JaVale McGee with the rebound. McGee's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Bradley dishes to LeBron. 
And there's another one for the Lakers. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Ball's knocked loose. Fox kicks to heel. Passes to Barnes. Three on the clock. And Davis sends it back. Last break, the Lakers. James with the ball. Bradley, no one around him. Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on heel. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Free throw is good for Davis. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. It's stolen by Brandley. LeBron outside to the middle. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That'll be his second foul of the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. James finds Davis. The pass to McGee for the lead. Sacramento grabs the miss. Pialitz has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A pass to Fox. Can't connect from short range. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Green the pass to Davis. Outside Brent. From beyond the arc. That's in there. Davis timeout, with the timeout. assist. And it's seven points for Avery Bradley. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. moment here to see the numbers for Anthony Davis. The past month has been surreal. Getting around 24 points per nine rebounds and over two and a half blocks. And you can't help but be impressed by his numbers. You know guys I think he's the engine of this offense. He makes them go. Without his scoring I think they'd be a totally different team. To the inside. And there's Fox. That's good on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got his third assist on the night. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Boy, you're playing with fire anytime you leave somebody open on James' team. I mean, LeBron, his court vision, outstanding. He leads up at three off the mark. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Now LeBron. He's got nine, and it's Belyuta with the foul. That's his first foul. Yogi Ferrell's checked in for the Kings. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Quinn Cook comes in for Bradley. Oh, 
LeBron. That's a two pointer. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. LeBron's got the lead up to four now for Los Angeles. Fox dishes to Barnes. Here's Farrell, headed by Green. Deadman kicks to Barnes. Lock at six. Drills the three pointer. Barnes has got 12. Yeah, you called it, Kevin. And Barnes has run the pick and roll plenty of times before and does a good job at taking what's available. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That's his first foul. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Right side green. LeBron, that's a two pointer. The Lakers rebound. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. From past the arc, they get it again. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Two shots, foul, two. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken advantage. Something that also stands out tonight is Take the number of assists they break. have. I mean, that's, uh, that's a mark of a good club. The first one falls. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Lakers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Fires the three. Here's Kuzma, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Guys, we can attribute that to all hustle from the Flint, Michigan native there. Kyle Kuzma, excellent activity leading to that offensive board. Barnes outside. It's tipped. Pass to Farrell. Four on the shot clock. Three-pointer on the way. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got four rebounds in this game. And now the pass break. Fox with the ball. Edmund passes to Fox. Farrell looking around. the wing Barnes and there's the foul it's on Quinn Cook and that'll be his third foul so far oh, what a terrible foul there the shot clock winding down and he ends up bailing out the offense with a silly foul here's what Sacramento's going with right now Harry Giles comes in for Dwayne Dedman and it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Bialica the Lakers also with a sub Caldwell Pope's checked in he's forcing shots offensively hurting his team in the process he needs to trust his teammates more. And now let's turn to the 2K leaderboard for a look at the squads that have the most points in transition over the past 10 games. The Lakers second. I mean, no doubt for me that they, they've hit their stride the last few weeks. I mean, they are punishing the defenses with that up-tempo style. It's stolen by Davis. Caldwell Pope with it. Now guarded by Fox. Here's Kuzma. He's off on that one. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more.
The Kings have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Fox. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Yogi Ferrell. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Anjan Rondo's checked in for Cook. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And the Lakers with possession here. It's a one-point game. Outside Rondo passes it to James. Caldwell Pope right side, six on the shot clock. Davis kicks to Rondo. Let's it fly from 18. Kuzma can't get it to go. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the King. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. Outside, Fox. Rondo on the double team. Sacramento moving it around. Barnes. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Davis. Determination is a valuable attribute and Barnes plays with determination. Committed to at least getting the foul on the way up. Nice job. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Kings. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive Take end. a break. They've Take repeatedly break. gotten out on the Two break shot. tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. That free throw, no good. And you know, Harrison Barnes is an effective two-way player becoming better every day on offense and can defend multiple positions as well. The Kings making a switch here. Joseph's checked in. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for the Lakers. Alex Crusoe comes in for LeBron. He hits the second from the line. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And it's time for an injury report. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer of the Kings was able to update me on the situation. He's got an injury to his elbow, specifically his elbow joint, and it looks like it's a pinched nerve. Obviously, they can't afford to lose him. This would be devastating for this team. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. And here is Los Angeles now, trailing by two. Rondo passes to Kuzma. Pass to Howard. Over Giles. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Giles has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Joseph against Rondo. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. Shoot two. First one falls for him.
And Joseph drops them both. Lakers trail by four. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Pass to Caruso. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. Jump shot is good that time. Caldwell Pope's got four points in the quarter. Rondo against Joseph. Barnes outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Barnes has got 16. Now this, this is more like it. Nine points for him from three-point range this half. That's nine more than he had in the first. That's a floater go. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rondo. Here's a look at what's coming up now for the Sacramento Kings. On Monday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then on Friday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. Bobbed up there for Howard. Deft touch on the alley-oop. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. King's moving the ball around. And Bazemore kicks to Barnes. Off target from three-point range. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. It's deflected. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Bucket is good. bazemore has got his first basket of the night. L.A. has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Kuzma outside. Back to Ronda. Passes it to Caruso. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Kept alive. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Hey, I tell you what, that's a pretty good foul because Howard is a major threat when he's that close to the bucket, but he's a poor free throw shooter. Make him earn it at the line. This is his second trip to the free throw line. good on the free throw. So we can't get either to fall. Kings leading now by five. Baysmore passes to Joseph. And there's the call on Howard. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Joseph. And Joseph drops them both. There's a minute 40 left to play in the third. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Kuzma and the Lakers with another miss. Kings leading now by seven. Knocked loose and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And a moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Fox. And one thing that has been very consistent for him the last few years, his ability to continue to deliver more and more offense. He's been doing everything that's been asked of him. One oh nine left in the third. 
The pass to Caruso. Howard up on top. Five on the clock. Pass to Caruso. Bobbed up there for Howard. An emphatic LU jam. Great timing and recognition as Howard is able to go up for the alley oop. And Joseph kicks it to Bazemore. Pass to Barnes. Here's Giles. Here's Barnes. 16 points for him. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Back to Joseph. Barnes against Kuzma. Barnes with it. And it's Barnes slamming it down. Yeah, very efficient. Can't get much better than that, Kevin. A guy who takes high percentage shots with his stroke. Love his game. And so it's Sacramento heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. Back right after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And so it's the Lakers with it. They trail by seven. Heald and Vaughn are the two and the three. Bielita is out there with Giles, and it's Bogdanovich in at the point. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Bradley against Heald. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Sacramento making some changes. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Giles. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And then for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Green in for Rajon Rondo. Barnes against Caldwell Pope. A drive by Barnes. That one, no good. Great D that time from Howard. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. We all know he'll can shoot it, but for him to get better, he's got to keep Foul. adding different dimensions Two. to his game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Lakers trail by eight. Pass to Howard. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And Davis throws it down. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, show that you're willing to give the ball up. The pass to Heal. Three-pointer, trains the three-pointer. Heald's got four points now in the quarter. 
It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Back to Davis. And they double up Davis. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Four on the clock. And Bradley gets it to go. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. The drive by Bard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Davis. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. JaVale McGee's check in for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Caldwell Pope. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And, you know, quite a bit of turnover for the Lakers in recent years, guys, from the front office to the coaching staff. I think it's always important for an organization to have a common voice to speak in stereo and have everybody in proper alignment from the top down to the court. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. From deep, James, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Fox dishes to Barnes. The wide open look here for Fox. That's good from 17 feet away. And the Kings lead by seven. And as the Lakers have looked to fill positions, Clark, a real affinity for candidates with the Lakers history. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. They view it as a family, but here recently they've expanded their options and have looked outside of past Laker pedigree in terms of filling some key spots, which is part of what you have to do if you're going to move forward and be successful. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Shooting two. That's good from Barnes. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Barnes hits them both. Now here's LeBron. Outside Green. Back to LeBron. Fades away. No good off the front iron. Kings leading now by nine. Inside. Here's Fox. McGee with the block. Yeah, if you had to pick the top priority from McGee, I think that's it. Contest shots, block shots, get in the air, use that length to deny shots at the rim. Bradley against Heald. It's stolen by Bradley. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. Releases. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. 16 points for LeBron. The Kings have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play.
Free throw good. Fox. Both good from the line that time. Lakers trail by nine. And here's Bradley. Pass to Davis. A second chance effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Guys, at this point in his career, Anthony Davis just entering his prime. Crazy to think when you look at what he's already accomplished thus far. And the first one drops. And we are talking about Anthony Davis. How do you even put into words, Greg, what he is able to do on the basketball floor? I mean, he's entering the conversation among the best big men of all time on a nightly basis, dominating in so many facets of the game. Really, it's remarkable. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Here's Fox. He kicks it to Deadman. Dishes to heal. Back to Deadman. Again, the miss by the Kings. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Seven point differential. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Here's James. Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down, and he's a quick jumper and decision maker. Falls for Davis. Kings leading now by four. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Yeah, he, he's shaking up a bit. No choice but to take a timeout and let him get some medical attention. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, I listened in on what Luke Walton said to his team. He said, nobody thought we'd be in this position right now, and we are. He said he was proud of his guys, but he also said, now go finish this thing off and get this win. Kevin? Shot clock at six. That's great. And play stop. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal stop. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Bradley against Fox. Chalk up two there. 
now just a two point Sacramento lead. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Bradley passes to LeBron. No good off the back of the rim. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Heald can't hit. Lakers trail by five. Tries a three. They get it back. James. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Bradley kicks to McGee. Lakers passing it around. Six to shoot. I shot from 10 feet out. 18 points for LeBron. That's as good as you can defend LeBron inside, and it's still not good enough. Fox against Bradley. And Fox gets it to go. And the Kings lead by five. Lakers have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Pass to Green. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. He makes the first. And both free throws good for Green. Here's Fox. Passes it to Heal. Shoots the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And Greg, it's clearly been their edge. And in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. And it's James missing. Kings leading now by three. Down low. Back to Fox. It's stolen by Green. One on one fast break. Here's McGee. Davis dishes to McGee. Over Deadman. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Violets has got eight rebounds in this game. Nobody near Barnes. Good on the triple. Barnes has got 25 points. I guess he just needed a little break because since halftime, he's been raining triples. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Unloads from nine. Another shot. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Sacramento making a switch here. Bogdanovich has checked in. That one falls for Anthony Davis. Kings leading now by three. Now Fox. Outside Bogdanovich. McGee with the block, but he gets it back. Bogdanovich, no luck. Lakers trail by three. Green the pass to Bradley. High post Davis. Just five on the clock. Rebound by Bialica. 
Hialitza's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. To the paint and stolen by James. Here's Bradley. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Hey, Greg, when you evaluate Avery Bradley, the offense isn't what it once was, but the defense is certainly still there. Yeah, Bradley has struggled with the scoring in, in recent years, but defense, that does not go cold. Still a menace to ball handlers, and his reach and length can suffocate perimeter players. free throw the Kings leading now the pass to Bogdanovich now Fox Barnes outside pass to Bialica and here's Bogdanovich for three and it's Bogdanovich again missing Green taking his time here. Got a piece of it. Fox with the steal. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. LeBron James on the wing. Covered by Barnes. And they double up LeBron. Loads it up for Davis. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop and bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he right elevated right and made the catch. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice easy layup which was a good decision. Timeout called by the Kings. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Harrison Barnes. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Fox against Bradley. Fox kicks to Barnes. And a miss there on the triple. A crucial possession with time ticking down. He had an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Here's LeBron. Pass to Green. Now here's Davis. Kicks it out to James. Just three to shoot to take the lead. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Barnes. against Bradley. Barnes outside. Deadman with it. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Great tee that time from Green. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. Here's Bradley. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Sacramento's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Barnes against James. Barnes kicks to Bogdanovich. Nails the triple. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 43 seconds left in the game. Here's Davis. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. Watch out. Anthony Davis has caught five. You can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possession. A drive by Barnes. And the rejection by LeBron. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Timeout time called time by out. the Kings. They're in front by Barnes. two. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's 
Here's Barnes for three. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And here's Bradley from three. Count it! Here's Fox. On the wing, Barnes. Knocks down the three. Man, I like how cool and collected Barnes is. Kevin, I mean, when the game is tight, he feels comfortable taking the shot. I mean, that's a matter of confidence in the process and your work. And Frank Vogel wants a timeout. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, tough situation here, but, but they do have enough time to get a catch and shoot. It, it, it's going to have to be very quick, but they do have time. Here's Davis. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. And so it's Sacramento who straight by with the win. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.